With the ACT coming up this weekend, I wanted to share six of my test day tips. These are the exact same tips I tell all my private tutoring students, and they should help prepare you guys to get some great scores this weekend. Tip number one is wear a watch. It can be any sort of watch, it can be a digital watch, analog watch, it just can't be any sort of smart watch that is going to be able to text, of course, and it also can't be any watch that has any sort of beepers or timers. They'll get very angry if that goes off. So again, make sure you wear a watch so you can keep track of the time on your own. They also allow you to bring a timer and put it on your desk, but sometimes proctors are weird about that. So I'd recommend a watch if you can get your hands on one. Now, a great tip that I tell my students for a watch is what I want you to do is make sure you can change the time on your watch and always set it to midnight at the start of each section. So rather than trying to do math, what you can do is you can just check your wrist and if it says like 12.09, nine minutes have gone by. 12.25, you're 25 minutes in. So it makes it really easy to keep pace and know exactly how far you are in each section rather than trying to do any math in your head. Test day tip number two is know your pacing. Proper pacing and time management is one of the biggest things that students struggle with on test day. So make sure you memorize the pacings that you see next to me here. It's gonna break down your pace for all four sections. And what I want you to do is don't worry about the time throughout the whole test. Don't be checking your watch nonstop, but at the end of each passage, take a glance at your watch, see where you're at. It's gonna really help you manage time and pace yourself properly on the test this weekend. Test day tip number three is keep it moving. One of the biggest mistakes students make is they get stuck on a question for too long. Maybe you're stuck on a tricky grammar question, you're spending forever on a hard math question, you're just trying to find that evidence for the reading or the science to find the answer. If you're on a question, you kind of have to have a shot clock in your head. If you're on that question for more than 20 or 30 seconds, Circle the number, bubble in your best guess, and move on. I would rather you keep on moving and finish the test and have, um, having had guessed on a couple rather than not getting to the end and getting stuck. Also, if you're circling your guesses along the way, if you're done early, that gives you a great plan to come back and look at the questions you circled. You'll know exactly which ones so you can use any extra time at the end you have as efficiently as possible. Test day tip number four is bubble in one page at a time. What I mean by that is you're allowed to write all over the ACT. So after you finish each page, you can basically circle your answers on your actual test, and then you can bubble in all those answers in a row on your test sheet. That's gonna save you time because going back and forth like, oh, I got A, let me bubble in A, that can take a long time. Of course, additionally, I don't want you to answer all the ones in your test booklet and then bubble them all in. Because at the end, if you're running low on time, let's say English, and you're trying to bubble in all 75 questions, you can of course have a big test day mess up where you don't get to bubble in all the questions and get credit for all the stuff even though you actually finished the test on your booklet. Test day tip number five is never leave an answer choice blank. There's no penalty for guessing on the ACT, so make sure you bubble in the answer for everything. If you're not gonna finish the section and the proctor says one minute left, just stop what you're doing, go ahead and bubble in the answers. There's no magic best method for guessing. Just pick a bubble and go for it. If you wanna go zigzag, go zigzag, anything is fine, but just make sure you need leave nothing blank. My final test day tip is there's going to be a fifth section. Now, if you're freaking out of like, oh my gosh, I've been doing practice ACTs, there's only English, math, reading, science, how is there a fifth section? Well, the fifth section does not affect your score. What it is, it's a little experimental section. The ACT is basically testing questions on you guys. So you'll have like a basically 20, 25 minute section doing some maybe math problems or reading comp or science, you never really know. But again, it doesn't affect your score, which means you do not have to try. Now, sometimes the proctors aren't very clear on if it counts or not, or they won't really tell you because the ACT, of course, wants you to try on these questions. But when you get to that fifth section, you can just hang out. You can do them if you want to. You can bubble in random stuff. But if you've done practice tests, you know what the test is, English, math, reading, science. That fifth section does not matter. Hope those test day tips help you guys out on your ACT this weekend. Now, if you're still cramming, have a little more time to study, I would definitely recommend checking out some other videos. You can learn some math rules. You can learn some grammar stuff. That's the last minute things I would really focus on that can change your score quickly. Again, if you have a little more time as well, I've also got that free trial to my ultimate ACT course. It has some of the most commonly tested grammar rules. It also teaches you everything you know about matrices. And those are two topics that I guarantee you're going to see on every single ACT. So again, there's a link below for you to sign up for that. It's totally free, no credit card needed. Uh, other than that, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. Other than that, this is Matt at Prep Pros signing off. I'll see you guys next time.